Good afternoon, evening, and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. So today we butchered chickens this morning. We have empty layer cages, aka dog kennels, because I put them in with where the meat birds were. It's been a long day. Got up about 5.15. Um, got everything ready, set up. I did not do a video because, and I'm kind of glad I didn't. It was kind of chaos. We struggled there for a little bit, and then all of a sudden it made sense, and we started just hammering them out. So next time we'll do a video and we'll know what we're doing. But check this out. Chickens! actually starting to freeze. There's nothing else in there besides a bag of ice and those chickens. So we shouldn't have a problem with them freezing. We shouldn't have a problem with them thawing anything out. We should be good to go there. So still got some cleanup to do. Um, but I think everything is good enough for tonight. Um, we used a big table, a little table, cooler, uh, there's our cones back there. I just got like little orange cones because I was looking for steel actual cones. And I couldn't figure out what size to get. Every size I looked at, it said to use, like, the next size. And so I just gave up, got some cones, and cut them. And it's probably a bad choice on my part. But if y'all do this, and you like the medium, the large, or the extra large, let me know. I am open to knowledge, so we're going to go down, check on these layers, see how they're doing. My neighbors were great. The one really enjoyed himself and his job. For butchering the chickens. Um, these guys are doing great. Look at them. Awesome. Cool. So these guys are fully feathered. They're just a little smaller than the Cornish. But they're still fully feathered, fully functioning little chickens. Awesome. These guys immediately went for the grass. They didn't go straight for the food, which is a good sign. That makes me happy. But anyways, 
Uh, chicken butchering was good. Um, your first time, don't get too overly critical of yourself. Um, I went way overboard with the 25 chickens. That would have been just an absolute nightmare. So, in one way, I'm kind of glad that it was only 15. Um, I, I mean, I'm still 100% disappointed in the fact that we lost 10, but it was probably in some way a good thing. So, I'll give you a little glimpse at what our setup was. If you would like to know, um, I had a bigger table like this and our little camp table. This is just one of those plastic party tables and a littler table. The the killing station is over there, and then we brought them to these little rocks here, and we used a one burner. This is actually simply Jan Homestead's burner. We used one of, one of these with a big pot, and we scalded the bird. Then we put it in a plucker. This is simply Jan Homestead's plucker. I believe it's a yard bird. Um, great piece of equipment speeds everything up but you have to be careful because it can break the skin of the bird um so it went from killing station scalder plucker then it went on to the little table and i got these plastic heavy duty plastic like tablecloths um it went on there and it got double checked for feathers and then it went on to the big table with a bigger heavy duty plastic tablecloth and it got butchered okay gutted um i'll show you what we used knife wise let me see if i can Put you down so that I can actually show you what I'm talking about. Hey Beanie, where is you going a Beanie? A Beanie? Hello Banawee. So KK's been kind of weird all day. With the chickens being gone. I don't know what her deal is, but. So. We got a three pack of these knives. A lot of people call them Mora knives. So I got green, black, and orange. These knives are, I believe, made in Sweden. And they are super sharp. Fantastic for what we used them for. Um, this was our gutting knife and our killing knife. So... Then this was Big K, a couple of them we quartered, that was his knife, um, I think I'd need to get him a different knife next time because this one had a smooth handle, it didn't really work well when your um, hands got all gross. And then we used te Texas Poultry Shrink Bags to shrink them all up 
And we used the straw to make sure that we got what we could for air out of the cavity of the bird. So that's what we did. Um, it worked out well. It got a little bit overwhelming. I think you have to have a system in place for how often you're going to timing between stations because we ended up with a bunch on the gutting table and it kind of put everybody into this like panicky state so I think you got to time it a little better but now we know we have learned quite a bit in just 15 birds so hopefully next time um I'd like to have somebody else that's done it before here and see if we can't learn something else. Um, this thing is going to be its own video. I, I tell you guys a little bit every couple of days about this thing. This thing is really starting to irritate me. So we now have bought our third pound of three inch screws for this thing. Um, directions are less... See, I don't wanna be mean, but the directions are less than stellar. Um, just the number of things that you need, the material list is way off, not even close. Um, look at this. We're putting the roof on. This is what we're working towards. And this door sticks up way past where the roof would be. It's just a nightmare. This whole thing has just been one building it and then making an accommodation and then building a step and making an accommodation no um as far as i'm concerned right now i would not get any other directions from this ever again. Ever again. No more. Um, the chicken tractor was a little funny, but between pictures and written directions and everything, you could figure it out. Um, this chickshaw is just terrible. The entire system is just bad. Not happy with it at all. So, that's my take on it. Um, again, everybody's gonna have different experiences, everybody's gonna have different opinions, but that's what I feel about it. It's just terrible. And I think there's a book coming out about off of that channel and I wouldn't buy it. I don't know if Big K will, but I wouldn't, I won't. Um, I should be my tide. So that's my opinion. Maybe the very last video, the one that I do just on that, I'll have to have Big K there to do it with me so that he can tell you how he feels, but no. It's just a nightmare all the way around. So, hopefully we can get this done and then Big K can build maybe another one. Maybe we won't need another chickshaw, but hopefully he can do it by himself and not need 
direction again because this was just awful. Hi, what are you doing? Where's your brother? Benny! So, that's how I feel about that. We're so close to being done and yet so far away. Like we go out and we're like, we got four steps left and we get one done and then we have to do all this accommodation and redoing or fixing or fudging or something. Quite irritating. So that's what I know. Tomorrow, I'll check on the chickens, but these last couple of days have been pretty, pretty draining. Um, we went out with some friends Monday night. We went and saw a movie, Sound of Freedom. Um, I recommend watching the trailer first before you decide that you're going to go see it. I moved it too late. She was just getting spooked by fireflies. Um, I would recommend seeing the trailer before you go see it. Uh, it's a very good, it's a, okay, it's a very well done movie. It's kind of a depressing storyline. Um, but if you watch the trailer and you're intrigued to see it, I would recommend it. Um, so we did that and then Oh, so Monday morning I got up at like three in the morning and I fed the meat birds because I needed to feed them early so that they would have at least 24 hours without food before butcher. So I got up at like three in the morning and fed them and then I went and I took another nap. So I basically just got a couple of two hour naps. Kehlani Lynn, come. So then got up, did a bunch of stuff with that dang chickshaw, and then we went out with some friends to this movie. And came back, went to bed, got up this morning at about 5.15, set everything up, basically started butchering at about 7-ish. And we were done butchering at about 9.30. Butchered, cleaned up everything. So, that wasn't too bad. Stayed out, talked to friends for a little while. And then basically took an hour nap. So that's been my day. Then a bunch of stuff after that up until this point. But it's hot today. It was humid today and yesterday, but we got everything done. Um, now I can start cleaning out the house of all the chicken stuff. We can get that stuff back up and started again. We can get these ends put on, hopefully. Hopefully the guys will be gung-ho about doing that sometime this week, next week. Um, We'll just get stuff moving here again. But we got that first butcher under our belt. I feel a little bit better about it. We got a neighbor that's really excited about helping us more. Stop. It's 4th of July, buddy. Happy 4th. Um, be careful with your fireworks. Dogs don't like them. Vets don't like them. By vets, I mean veterans. Um, 
I gotta find my dog. The beagle is on the loose on your way back down the hill if you find him. Send him back this way, especially with the fireworks starting to go off. I should probably go find him. Um, but yeah, I really do appreciate y'all. We are at 250-ish subscribers, which is exciting. And we're getting a bunch of name ideas. We are still open to more ideas. Um, I got to text and see if we have any more puppies. Once all the puppies are born, we will go out and look and probably make our pick. Big K's getting super excited. I'm getting super excited. So hopefully within the next couple of days, we will have confirmation that all puppies are born and we can go look. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. On your way back down the hill, if you wouldn't mind, finding a beagle, liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that little bell notification button thing down there. And comment down below your puppy names. Help us out. Um, and find a beagle. I appreciate y'all.